吃生又吃你吃菜，背着花来到同一个舞台。To my Thai fans, man, I really want to say thank you guys, cause I love Thailand so much. I really hope one day I can go to Thai and just perform, not only for travel. I really want to see you guys. I love Thailand. I love, Thailand. I love you guys, man. Because I really want to go to Thailand. I hope one day we can just like go for together,、real. man. I never been to Philippines, but I really want to go too, man. I I want to see other like. Different countries, their cultures, and their food, and their people. I know, like you guys are amazing. Yeah, Thai food. 除了那些什么奇奇怪怪的，我觉得都好吃。就是那个虫啊什么的，除了那些我都好喜欢。泰国的东西都太好吃了，又便宜又好吃。我就感觉如果我在泰国待一辈子，我会很幸福。If I can, of course I will. Of course, Thailand. I I had a family in the house. Really? How was it? It's amazing. Just the love there. Just... And cause I got a lot of Thai friends, like Franji, either Minnie, Patrick, Nai. They're also nice. They're they're like super nice, nice, nice people. That's why I love Thai. Soho, Soho, Gan Duo. 如果是以前的奥斯卡，他会遗憾，他会抱怨，他会说为什么？凭什么我不行？但是我觉得现在的奥斯卡就是看开了很多，看清楚了很多。就算不成团，那又怎么样呢？你已经收获到了你人生当中最美好的东西了。你收获到了这么好的朋友，你收获到了比名利还重要的很多东西。就是这些东西是我以后拿钱买不到的。所以，比起成团的话，我觉得我收获到的是更多的，所以我已经不遗憾了。然后我收获到了我的。这么多的粉丝对我的爱，我已经很感激一切了。嗯，呃、uh, so, ，首首先我说最最喜欢的发色 ，of course red， 就我接受不了你彩虹色，什么颜色都有的，其他我都能接受。然后我希望到时候我现在头发因为已经断的不行了，然后等到时候头发长好了，我就染染回我的红色。嗯、What？ 为什么有点为难我呢？你表情包已经够多了，过来。Oh gosh. Okay, 有点抽搐的，等一下，你试一下。Oh wait, wait, gotta do like nine. Nine does. Oh. 大家好。Hi. Toto can do it too. 来一个，来一个。啊啊啊 ！I love the shit. 小九教的，小九的 power， 你的 power 厉害。每次我跟小九两个人就是互相看，不要三二一。嗯，可以的，可以的。哇、wow ，推荐的话肯定是封顶啊，然后多听听我们封顶，因为这是我在创造营我玩的最开心的一次吧。嗯，没有没有什么原因。然后。<laughs> This guy always copy me. He he copy my gestures. He was like always like yeah. Does it? I learned from him. That's why. You were in front of stage, right? Yeah, yeah, I I did that. Like I I did the、uh, this thing. Uh huh. Because I really thought it was cool. In which stage? In which stage? Oh. And I had my rap part. I'm so new to Chinese rap, and it's just that style I've never done. And honestly. Because the way I learn gestures is from my like idols, you know. But I didn't, I don't know any idol who does that, and I didn't know anyone who could do it as cool. And the only person I could think of was honestly Oscar. So what I did was I implemented my style, but I also added it. I hope I can learn more. But I mean, this guy's, he's, I think he's one of the best rap performers. Oh, I heard Patrick tell me. I want to know who I was. I want to know who I was. I was black, right? I was black. 对说的，我觉得很可爱啊，就甚至是小熊，小熊，他们也跟我画成同类了，挺开心的。嗯，我经常有没有眼影、没有眼线照相。我平常练习室全都是没有眼线、没有眼影。舞台上我觉得还是得特别一点、个性点，这才能更好的去表达我对于这首歌的感觉和情感。但是平常的话，我不会的。对我介绍跟粉丝最相关的就是。我的左肩上面这个纹身也是我最喜欢的一个纹身，对我来说意义最大的一个纹身。啊，我纹的是我的粉丝的名字 ，Answer， 'cause you guys are dancers. 
。我从来没有把人或者东西纹在我身上，我这是第一次。我也很甘心的把我这第一次就是给你们，因为这对对于我来说意义很大。第一次有这么多人去支持我，就是是我这辈子没有感受到的爱，所以我想要把那一刻给放在我身上的一块，让我这辈子都记得到。然后我说一下，就是我第一个纹身是其实是这个纹身，然后是我在十三十十三岁的时候纹的。然后我想要跟我的粉丝说，就是希望你们不要这么小纹身，因为我这是我得到的教训嘛。你们以后等思想成熟一点，然后再去纹身，我觉得这比较好，因为这是留在你身上一辈子的东西。ごめん、僕の日本語はちょっと今すごくダメだけど、これから僕えっと中国語と日本語をもっと勉強します。Yeah, 本当にいつもサポートして本当にありがとうございます。Just to all my overseas overseas fans, I I can't thank you enough. Honestly, to be honest, I I read I read everything. I see everyone's like what they say, and honestly, it's just all supportive and it's all love, and I love that. And、um, you know, I'm I'm just happy that I can just be myself and that you guys enjoy it. And I'm happy that I can just spread positivity. I think that's what an idol should do. They should teach.、Um, they should inspire and motivate everyone. And I hope I can do that for you all. And I just want to say thank you so much, really. Yeah, hopefully, I do. I do. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you look forward to the more things I show. I, I love you. Thank you so much. I don't know. I think it's just I have a lot of energy in me. And、uh, it's because I'm I'm always with good people, and I always try to find the positive out of everything, and even if I'm really sad. Because I think if we stay sad, it's like we're asking to be sad sometimes. You know, I I understand that in some cases it's you can't control it, and, but I think if you can, you should always find the positive in some things. You always got to stay positive. I think. Once you find positivity, once you find hope, you already win. You're already on the right path. But what I always do is I always, you know, in Tronga, every time I was down, I'd just think about the people that I have in my life, my friends and my family, and my new friends that I've made, and that made me happy, and that made me energetic, and that's what pushed me every day. So, yes, I chose the song Zaichi because a lot of my fans wanted me to sing. But after radio, I was only dancing a lot, and even though I sang in Weishin XL, I don't know, it, it wasn't really singing to be honest. It was just, just a bridge,、uh, you know. I had a feeling, you know, if I don't debut, and if it's my last time on a big stage, I want to give a gift to my fans. And honestly, the the song was a gift to my mom. When we got to call our parents, my mom told me that she would listen to radio over and over. And she would cry. And this is like my first time being away from my mom for a really long time. And I can't imagine the, how hard it is for her. So I wanted to give her a gift of something that she can just listen to and just think that I'm there. When you read the lyrics too, it's it's very comforting. It's something that I want to do. It's something I want to hug her. Every time I hug her, all the anxiety goes away. And just It, it was just a gift to my mom, honestly. A gift not just to my mom, but also to the fans as well. Yeah,、uh, that's that's why I chose.、It. Yes, I I definitely plan on staying in China. All the loves here, my brothers are still here. I have to stay here. As much as I miss Japan, I miss my friends and family. China's special, and honestly, I haven't I haven't even explored it yet. I I've only been on Hainan, but. Even in Hainan, we were just in、uh, the. Nah, nah, nah. We were just in a gym. We were just in a gym the whole time, and the whole time we were eating just dormitory food. It wasn't real Chinese food. I still have to. I still want to explore and learn the, this culture. Like, you know, that's why I came here too. And so I have. I, I want to stay here. I, I want to stay busy. I want to hang out with my friends. It's just the beginning, honestly. And. Yeah, I just want to tell the fans, don't worry. I plan on staying,、uh, and I want to stay because you guys make me happy. China makes me happy, really. Honestly, I I haven't even tried. I just got here. I just got here. I haven't tried Chinese food yet, just because 
I want the first thing I try to be super, super special. And I want to go with like special people. So I, that's why I told him, I told him like, you gotta show me some places, man. And, and hey, Mexican. yeah, we ate Mexican food yesterday because on the show, we are we always talking about food and Mexican food. And we made a promise that we would eat Mexican food first thing out of Chuang. So we had to, you know, we had to, we had to do that. I'd say so far, Beijing is amazing, you know. I got to hang out with him, Amu, and Eugene yesterday. I, I, I was seriously happy. I, I told, like, even though we didn't debut, I could still say we did it. I'm just so happy that I can still be with my friends. Um, yeah. And I just, be, Beijing's just already beautiful. I just already like it. Yeah. First off, I'd say right now my fashion isn't at its best because, uh, as we were told before, we're only we were only told to bring training clothes. Um, but my favorite type of style is more like streetwear. What I love though isn't just one fashion style. It's I like exploring a lot. And of course I've, you know, honestly I've always dreamed of doing fashion collabs because I see a lot of artists, a lot of my favorite artists will have like these collaborations with like these shoes or like, like clothing. And it's something I definitely want to do because you know, I was studying art. I had some, experience where I could collaborate with some brands and do some art and I just want to do more of it honestly like I only got to show a little bit of my art on Chuang and it honestly wasn't the best representation because you know I could do better honestly if I did a fashion brand I don't know I'd be too scared that it wouldn't uh, do so well I don't know you I don't know what's uh, waiting for me in the future but I think right now I'm more interested in like collaborations Bullshit. There's a lot, there's a lot, but there's one that I couldn't, I still can't say, but it was something I had to practice for my speech, and I I asked nine, I asked everyone for help, and I still couldn't do it. Well, she won, won. Well, she won. She, see, I still can't say it, because every time I say it, it sounds like I said, well, she won. I still can't say it, so that's something I struggle with, and just anything with, like, what? like 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 anything like that like it's always hard because like you can ask like you know Joe Koya would always say man your tones suck and I know I can't do tones because I would just like talk like uh, the, the, I'll talk like Lelouch just uh, uh, the, 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 the. like a Google Gaga like a Google no, you, you're a Google Gaga you're a Google Gaga it's an inside joke we have yeah so I'm a visual learner so I have to the word down and I have to really put that image in my head. Before though, I would remember it with rap. Also, I would think of words, like English words that would match the Chinese word best. Sometimes I would do it by rapping. Like, I remember I learned what I need by saying like, oh, what I need is what I need. And it was funny, every time I practiced the speech, he'd be like, I'd do it and I'd be like, I remembered it. And he'd go, what? What? I don't understand anything you said. But he's, 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 he's a strict teacher. Anyways, yeah. I'd say to read the vibe, it's not just feel, you have to experience it a lot. Basically, when I say read the vibe, you, you kind of have to have a sense of what the environment is, whether it's strict, whether it's an environment where I can joke around, or if it's an environment where I have to be really professional and I can't really do anything. And sometimes I was really good at reading the vibe of people. That's why in like, I'd say in Chuang, I'd be, people liked how, they'd say I was really caring, but really it was just because I was really good at sensing if someone was sad or if they were angry. I care a lot about mental health. I really do. Um, it's very important to look out for each other's mental health and not just each other's, but yourself. And something you got to do is to first read the vibe, like Lelouch's vibe, you know, I knew a lot of people joked with him, but I read his vibe that he didn't like it, so I wouldn't joke with him that much. But once we got closer, I read the vibe that he was okay with me joking with him. Jack, but you know what I'm saying? But you know, it you have to read the vibe because sometimes if you don't, you can really make someone's day really bad. My advice is just to go out there more. You're gonna maybe make a lot of people mad sometimes, but that's how you learn is through failures. So you gotta keep going through that. Um, and then over time, you'll learn to see certain like uh, body language or just 
certain actions and then you'll know like okay this person's sad today this person's mad this person's a little quiet today you know it's all the little stuff you have to pay attention to it's like an art so uh, that's what i'd say just pay attention to all the details 嗯，就是感谢一下日本的，还有印尼，以及我所有的海外粉丝们，谢谢大家支持我，因为我觉得说大家都很厉害，嗯，很优秀，还能在里面看到我，真的是一件很值得去感谢的事情。有机会我一定会去到海外跟大家见面，距离不是问题。谢谢你们喜欢我，谢谢。挺感兴趣的，因为我初舞台选了一个比较有日本元素的歌曲，就是文化交流一下嘛。然后以前也会看日本的动漫，在影里也听大家说一些关于日本的东西。我最喜欢的是涩谷，因为我看到有那个天上有一个那个楼梯电梯，就很漂亮，你知道吗？不知道。<笑>最好是，对，就是有一个那个天台就很漂亮，很想去一下。最近想 cover 的一支舞蹈就是 Into One 的成团舞，学都学了，怎么不跳一下呢？我觉得都可以吧，只要是夸我的，我都喜欢。嗯，就是肯定会出的，因为我也很喜欢这些东西。我从高中开始，我也就看别人的视频来学习研究。我希望有一天，如果粉丝想看，我可以拍给他们看。嗯，然后护肤其实就是我不怎么护肤，我还是想选刘宇，因为我真的很想跳一下中国舞。因为我现在就是年纪比较大了，然后骨头很硬，就是不可能再从头去学习一些技巧，身体的软度。我很希望有他的身体，我可以体验一下那种感觉，因为平时大家跳的都是一些流行的街舞爵士，就是很难有机会可以去跳到中国舞。我也想向大家展现一下中国舞蹈之美。嗯，我觉得很重要的一点就是，我老板跟我说过一原理，就是一万小时原理。他的意思就是说，你把一个东西做一万个小时，这就是一个你从笨蛋变成天才的过程。可能这。有点夸张，但其实它的原理就是告诉你要坚持不懈去练这个东西，就是不要放弃。我觉得说到我今天，我也没有很好的把它完成。我也希望就是大家可以一起跟我完成它，虽然很难，但是那都是为了我们变成更好的而去努力的过程。好像是要账户有印子，但是有一些账户最近就是用不了了。对，但是我会尽快开开通跟大家见面，大家等等我。什么曲风的歌曲啊？什么曲风都想。就是尝试一下，但是我还是喜欢热辣性感风<笑> ，rap 就是，<笑>对啊，就是一个 hip hop lover 坐我旁边，很想有机会跟他合作一下，也不知道他愿不愿意。那当然愿意，有什么不愿意的？嗯，他一直想要 rap， 但一直没有好东西，没有好东西，打不出手。他本来出台就是 rap 的，对。我当时出台选他 battle， 他就用 rap， 然后如当时本来你是决赛，他也想 rap。但最后还好，还好没 rap。我 rap， 我准备要 rap 的时候，我去找奥斯卡，我说我想要 rap。奥斯卡跟我说没关系，就是你你会犯错，但这次错误是好的。就是他，就是他的意思是他已经看到了我失败了，就好难。我就是说，确实上次没有尝试好，是因为我可以把它准备好，下一次把它给大家跟大家惊喜。接下来有什么期许？我希望我每天都工作。然后就是天天打工，我要成为大家打工人的榜样。然后就是学习吧，因为在创造营也看到了国内外舞蹈的天花板，也知道自己跟他们差距还很大，所以要进步。包括还有旁边这些唱歌说唱这么好的同学，就是要跟他们努力的向他们靠齐。对，谢谢。谢谢